In 2019, SpaceX founder Elon Musk unveiled a prototype of his Starship rocket, which he said could transport people to the moon, Mars, and beyond. The billionaire said he would take people to Mars in a year. He went on to say, the critical breakthrough that's needed for us to become a space-faring civilization is to make space travel like air travel. To the space enthusiasts and reporters gathered SpaceX's development site in Texas. He also said that the idea of a space-faring civilization being out there among the stars is one of the best things. Musk claimed the rocket's first orbital flight could come in the next six months, followed by missions to space with humans aboard the next year. SpaceX is building its next generation Ricky called Starship. The giant gleaming spacecraft is being designed to carry NASA astronauts to the moon, as well as the dreams of Elon Musk's space company. NASA wants to use it to land American astronauts on the moon. The Pentagon wants to use it to whisk military cargo around the world in minutes. Astronomers, satellite companies, and aspiring space tourists are eyeing its potential to drastically slash the cost of getting to space. Elon Musk says it is the holy grail of space technology and sees it as crucial to his ultimate goal of colonizing Mars. It is called Starship, and for SpaceX, Mr. Musk's private space company is the future. Its success or failure may determine where the company achieves its dreams. Since 2010, SpaceX has been flying Falcon 9, a rocket with a reusable booster that has become one of the most dominant launch vehicles in global spaceflight. Starship is the next generation, designed as a gigantic and fully reusable rocket system that could cost less and fly more often. Since 2019, the rocket has been steadily emerging as a soothing sentinel in stainless steel reflecting the sunlight of a South Texas launch site along the Gulf of Mexico. Testing of Starship prototypes has resulted in fiery failures leading up to a successful flight and landing in May 2021. After a series of premature announcements followed by delays, Mr. Musk said 2022 is the year Starship will get to orbit for the first time. But many obstacles remain to be overcome. Here are answers to common questions about Starship and what must occur before it gets to space, let alone the moon. When fully stacked together, Starship stands taller than the Statue of Liberty, at nearly 400 feet. It is also taller than Saturn V, the rocket that sent American astronauts to the moon during NASA's Apollo program. Mr. Musk has said Starship is designed to be roughly twice as powerful as the Saturn V. Starship has a wider diameter than other orbital spacecraft, 30 feet, which is meant to make it possible to transport large amounts of cargo or perhaps many people. To get into orbit, Starship sits atop a towering rocket booster called Super Heavy. Once the two pieces of the spacecraft plow through the stretches of Earth's atmosphere, the two parts separate near the edge of space. As Starship continues farther towards orbit, the Super Heavy booster that helped it off the ground returns for a landing near its launch pad. A massive tower equipped with mechanical arms, which Mr. Musk calls chopsticks, will attempt to grab the descending rocket to softly land it. Starship plunges back towards Earth's atmosphere on its side, which is designed to endure the wicked heat of re-entry, just as the space shuttle's underside once did. Shortly before landing, Starship reignites its engines to flip itself vertically for a soft landing. SpaceX has test-launched at five prototypes of Starship's upper section to an altitude of roughly six miles. Only the final prototype successfully stuck a landing. Its predecessors exploded either on the ground or in flight. But the next chapter in Starship's timeline, reaching orbit, has been slower to start. To get to space, SpaceX needs to date with its Super Heavy booster. It is to be powered by dozens of Raptor rocket engines, far more than the three engines previously flown on past Starship prototypes. The date for Starship's first orbital test flight has been pushed back several times, but Mr. Musk's latest projection was sometime after February. SpaceX had previously aimed to carry out the test last summer, in 2021, then gradually scooted the date back as challenges with Super Heavy's design and lengthy reviews by regulators hampered the company's drive to move fast. Development and construction of the rocket system has been highly visible as SpaceX's open-air facilities in Boca Chica, Texas, mere miles from the U.S.-Mexico border. The company calls the area Starbase. Space enthusiast media companies have placed remote cameras nearby, making it one of the most closely watched engineering spectacles of a company owned by Mr. Musk who, as chief executive of both SpaceX and Tesla, the electric car maker, is known for moving fast and pushing breakneck development timelines. Dramatic explosions, skirmishes with federal regulators, and some key successes have put the company's rocket development ethos on full display. 
fly, crash, learn, repeat. Before SpaceX can launch Starship to space, the company needs to pass a protracted government review of the environmental impact on the area around the launch site, which is surrounding nature preserves home to endangered species. SpaceX cleared an environmental review in 2014 when it intended to use the site for testing and launching its Falcon 9 rocket. But those plans have changed and expanded drastically over the years with the advent of Starship, prompting a new environmental review. Among SpaceX's new plans for the area, starting a natural gas plant to source fuel for Starship, installing a solar farm, building parking lots, constructing payload processing facilities, and conducting more test flights, which raised the likelihood of testing explosions that can send debris and forceful shockwaves for miles. When the Federal Aviation Administration allowed the public to comment on a draft of its assessment in 2021, some 18,000 comments swarmed in, many from outside the region. That delayed the review's completion, which is expected on February 28th. In the Brownsville region, SpaceX has faced a mix of enthusiastic support and daunting criticism. Some civic leaders welcomed the job opportunities the launch site could bring to the area, but many members of the community also worry about the environmental and economic toll of such a major operation moving into their area. Once the review process is completed and the public comments are considered, the FAA and other agencies will determine whether SpaceX's Starship site needs a more thorough environmental review. If it does, that could delay the company's progress by months or years. Daunting challenges beget any rocket development program. It's the nature of rocket science. SpaceX has faced problems with the production of Raptor, its new rocket engine that will power Starship. Mr. Musk described the situation as a Raptor production crisis in an email to employees in late 2021, according to CNBC. The next generation engine is the company's first new rocket booster engine since Merlin, which has powered Falcon 9 for more than a decade. NASA, which aims to use a version of Starship for its first crewed flight to the moon, is following SpaceX's Raptor development but the agency recently indicated significant progress in the overall production of the Starship. George Neal, an aerospace expert on NASA's safety advisory panel, said during a recent panel meeting, government astronauts won't be Starship's only passengers. Zuka Mazawa, a Japanese billionaire and the founder of the clothing retailer Zuzu, announced in 2018 with Mr. Musk at SpaceX's Southern California headquarters, his intent to fly around the moon and back aboard Starship with eight fellow passengers. That mission, announced for 2023, will almost certainly be delayed. Mr. Mazawa did not wait for SpaceX to make his first trip beyond Earth, flying aboard a Russian spacecraft in December 2021 for a 12-day stay on the International Space Station. Starship is also poised to be the centerpiece of SpaceX's revenue generating launch business by flying satellites from commercial and government customers. The company says the rocket will be crucial for launching the satellites for SpaceX's satellite internet venture, Starlink. Thousands more Starlink satellites are needed to complete the constellation. Starship could launch hundreds at a time, up from about 60 that can fit aboard the Falcon 9 rocket. Despite its power and bigger size, the rocket system is intended to be cheaper than the Falcon 9, primarily because of its reusable design. Mr. Musk has suggested, without any detailed explanation, that Starship flights could cost as low as $2 million per launch. Each Falcon 9 costs roughly $62 million. The U.S. military has its own concept for SpaceX rockets. The Air Force in January gave SpaceX $102 million to study using the spacecraft as a cargo ship that could deploy resources to various parts of the world in a matter of minutes, or point-to-point -point transportation. Potentially, Starship would launch to orbit and re-enter over a particular region to deliver humanitarian supplies or military cargo in a fraction of the time needed by traditional military aircraft. The legality and logistics of such a concept, though, remain uncertain. SpaceX is also expanding its satellite internet business. SpaceX already beams broadband services to customers around the world via its huge and ever-growing Starlink constellation. Over the weekend, Elon Musk's company revealed that Starlink now has a partner project called Starshield, which is tailored for use by government agencies particularly those in the national security sector. Starship leverages SpaceX's Starlink technology and launch capability to support national security efforts. SpaceX's newly posted Starship page reads, While Starlink is designed for consumer and commercial use, Starship is designed for commercial use, with its initial focus on three areas, the page adds. 
Those areas are Earth observation, communications, and hosted payloads, the ability to put a wide variety of instruments on the Starshield satellite bus. Starshield spacecraft will also be interoperable with other satellites that are equipped with the laser communications terminal that Starlink craft use, the page adds. That's pretty much all we know about Starshield. The page doesn't provide many other details about the new project. We know much more, of course, about Starlink. The mega constellation consists of more than 3,200 active satellites and will grow considerably larger in the months and years to come. SpaceX already has permission from the U.S. Federal Communications Commission to deploy 12,000 first-generation Starlink craft, the type that's now operating in low Earth orbit. The company has applied for approval to loft nearly 30,000 Starlink 2.0 satellites on top of that. These new spacecraft, with SpaceX plans to launch primarily using its next-generation Starship rocket, will be much bigger and more powerful than their predecessors. For instance, Starlink 2.0 satellites will be capable of beaming service directly to cell phones, something that SpaceX plans to start doing next year.